Right, Reds, Sam here from United People TV, here with the United 180, with all the latest news about Manchester United and all the stories coming out on Tuesday night. Jose Mourinho to Manchester United is a done deal. You've got the Daily Mail, you've got the Mirror, you've got the Star, and probably more importantly than the other three, you've got the Telegraph. Um, Matt Law from the Telegraph, who previously had said that Wayne Matter was going to be a Man United player before he did complete his move. They're all saying that Jose Mourinho has told his friends that it's basically a done deal for him to take over as Man United manager from Louis van Gaal. Um, this obviously comes, what, 48 hours after Louis van Gaal insisted that the media is fabricating all of these stories, that they're all rubbish and that there's no truth to them whatsoever. And this comes out. I'd like to question Mourinho's friends if they're going blabber into the papers that he's going to take over as Man United manager, first and foremost. But it's one of those sort of press briefings that you can't really ignore, all of them publishing it at the same time. The Express are also running with the same story. So either they've all been fed the wrong information or there's something going on behind the scenes. These Mourinho rumours aren't going to go away. I think we're all well aware of that. Even if it is bullshit, they're still not going to go away. Uh, and it's going to be interesting now to see what happens with Louis van Gaal on Friday's press, in Friday's press conference because he's been getting more and more pissed off with the media in terms of how they are portraying him and his job and whether he's got the job or not. And I do think he has fair points to be pissed off with them. But are they really making up all these Mourinho rumours and stories, just popping them out of thin air? Seems hard for me to believe. There must be somebody feeling, whether it's Jorge Mendes or somebody else, Somebody seems to be feeding the media the stories and on Tuesday night they have intensified further by them saying that Mourinho has been, sorry, Mourinho's friends have said, you know, it's going to happen. So, let, I mean, let, let's, see how, let's see how this develops now in the next 24 hours. But it's quite a, a big press briefing going on. And somebody else who's been talking, not really briefing, but Thiago Motta uh, has been talking about Jose Mourinho. Obviously, his ex-boss, uh, he did play for him when he was at Inter Milan. And he's got some interesting quotes. You know, he's saying, in terms of the United job, he's saying it takes a brave coach to go there now, but Jose is brave enough. For the last three seasons, Man United haven't been the Man United people are used to. Yeah, that kind of goes without saying. I know there would be pressure on Jose to get United back winning trophies, but that would not bother him. In my experience, Jose doesn't feel pressure. He has such belief in his abilities. Now, Motta obviously was a midfielder under Jose into Milan when he won the treble. Uh, now plays for PSG. He's a decent midfielder. He's a bit of an asshole as a human being, but he's a good midfielder. Uh, and I think anybody in that Inter team would probably consider Mourinho as a bit of a demigod, given the, what he did at that Inter side and, and how he took them to win that treble. And I think, you know, I've for me personally, I've, I've basically mentally agreed that Mourinho is going to be our next manager. Um... I just can't see past him now uh, in terms of who else can follow Van Gaal and really steer this club where it needs to go in the context of the situation with Guardiola at City with the three years that's happened since Fergie's left. Um, this is now the crucial appointment. Yes, it was important to replace Fergie. Um, that didn't really work out. Now, if we fuck up replacing Van Gaal, you know, we take the piss out of Liverpool for how they had a fall from grace in the early 90s, but United are risking it. Really risking it if we mess up this next appointment. And that's why I can't look past Mourinho. Um, you're looking, people are going to say he's too short term, he comes with a lot of baggage, X, Y, and Z. If United think any more long term, there won't be a long term to think of. United need to recover now. And I think Mourinho is the man to do that. And as the reports continuously keep saying, Mourinho's, Mourinho is the most likely candidate. Who else is there? You've got Allegri, you've got Conte. Reports today saying that Allegri is going to become Chelsea's next manager. And Conte is obviously at Italy. Uh, who've got Ancelotti is now at Bayern Munich. Guardiola is at City. In terms of elite managers available, who else is there? I don't want Ryan Giggs there. That scares the crap out of me. And I just can't see past Mourinho. Uh, and as these reports keep growing, he, he seems to be getting close to the job. And the, the latest is that he feels it's a done deal. At least that's what his friends are saying. So let, let me know in the comments below what you think about this developing story. Um... Drop a like on the video, always helps us, and subscribe to United People's TV if you're new, and we'll see you tomorrow. Take it easy. Hanging on the door, getting free kick after free kick on the edge of the box, kept pumping the balls in, 
and De Gea was swatting everything back. And then Memphis Depay came on, and I don't know what he was thinking, but Memphis Depay's pass, lost possession, Daly Blinn slipped, Costa was through, one all, two points dropped, 